Oh, I'll begin by just reflecting a little about the beautiful qualities I've experienced manifesting from Shelley. And you know, a lot of what we often notice first in Shelley is this kind of beautiful paramis. And it's always so trustworthy when someone seems to be able to manifest a lot of the paramis so organically and naturally. Some of you maybe don't know this list from the Buddhist teachings, but they're really considered the kind of the essential list of wise and beautiful qualities of heart that allow somebody to wake up and allow somebody to be yeah, useful in the world, like kindness and equanimity and generosity and resoluteness and truth commitment to truthfulness and a deep resonant valuing of non-harming and energy and wisdom and renunciation and maybe one or more that I forgot. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, one of the most trustworthy things for those of you who don't know Shelley well, is just seeing how these beautiful qualities just are there showing up. And I, you know, Shelley's not perfect, but she's impressive. <laughs> and uh, so I just want to shine a light on that. And the, and the other thing that just immediately comes to mind is how Shelley Shelley's wisdom is so functional, so grounded, practical, like her, the fruit of her, their practice is just like so appropriate in the world that we live in. And uh, I've seen this, you know, I've been working with Shelley for quite a while. We've been collaborating together uh, to run the center now for quite a while. And I've seen some sticky, uncertain, challenging situations. And I've been so impressed that when the sort of wisdom needs to be wielded, Shelley is able to do that. Just sort of speak the truth, lean in, show up with some real power. And when a more gentle or tender touch is really useful, that comes so easily as well for Shelley. And so that's just, it's just so impressive. I've learned so much just from being around and the other thing I appreciate is Shelley is all in the commitment to their practice and to the Buddhist teachings and to the depth of the Buddhist teachings. And this is especially uh, just impressive how Shelley is very much connected, uh, allowing their heart to be touched by the joys and especially the sorrows in our world, all the imperfect injustices that are reverberating and stay true to the depth of the Buddhist teachings. And just another beautiful thing about Shelley moving into this more significant role in the community is through these last four years being part of the IMS teacher training, she brings with them this great group of friends that she met being in the teacher training program. And that will be for a long time benefit for the community, both in terms of this cohort of uh, Shelley teaching at the center, but just being Shelley's friends and advisors through all the twists and turns that comes with being a Dharma teacher and a guiding teacher at, an, at, uh, at a city center. And I mean, now Common Ground doesn't just have a city center, but we have this little growing retreat center as well. And this is exactly what we need. And last thing I'll say, before turning it over is just this, uh, yeah, just the breadth and depth. And I think so much that's what we need in terms of Dharma in the West. We have to be true to the depth of the Buddhist teaching, what his teachings point to. And we have to do this very fresh work of making the practice real in the world we live in and the communities we show up in and that is the art of being a Dharma leader and a Dharma teacher and a guiding teacher. So I want to read a few words, uh, short words from Joseph Goldstein. Some of you know Joseph, one of the founders of IMS and just one of our grandfatherly figures in our Western early Buddhism, Theravada Buddhism, insight meditation tradition. And, and uh, Joseph wrote a few words for Shelley. Dear Shelley, I'm delighted to hear of you becoming a guiding teacher for Common Ground. 
It's not only an acknowledgement of your deep Dharma practice and understanding, but also a testament to your willingness to serve the Dharma in this way. It's a great gift to the Sangha, sending much metta to you and the whole Common Ground community on this auspicious occasion, Joseph. So I'll turn it over to Kamala next, and maybe we could spotlight Kamala. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad to be here. And um, before I begin speaking with Shelley directly and, and all of you, I just wanted to say it's been our pleasure and an honor for both Steve and I to be part of Common Ground for almost 30 years now. Is that right, Mark? It's 1994 or so. And, uh, and also to have known Shelley for almost all of that time. And um, it's really been such a joy to watch the growth and the deepening inside of her own heart and the sharing with others all these years. So I've had the privilege to uh, do some guiding and also participate in the last four years of Shelley's uh, teacher training, the intensive teacher training that she went through. Uh, and, and also, of course, to know her before then. And this, it was only this past May, I think, that you graduated from there, right, Shelley? Was it May? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, well, that was a really happy day <laughs> to get all that training over with. But most of that is going to come, as we all know, as teachers now, Mark and Rebecca, Steve and I, um, that it, it's still training ground <laughs> that we're in. As, as we continue to teach. But a long time ago, I all, already witnessed some of your beautiful qualities, um, Shelley. And before I you know, reiterate some of what uh, Mark said, I just wanna say that I'm, I'm always gonna support you to keep continuing to deepen those qualities. And when you don't feel the support within you, I'm here to support you as long as I'm healthy and strong. So you can always call on me. So um, not only do you have your other cohorts that just graduated from that will continue to support you, I I'm here too for you. And I know Steve is too, he'll speak in a moment. So um, I know it's hard to be a wise guide on the path. You know, there have been so many times that I think, well, I'm retiring now, you know, how many times along the path? Um, but friends keep us going. And so I wanna accentuate that, you know, that you have lots of wonderful friends around you and senior um, uh, Dharma teachers also willing to support you. I wanna give a picture of that to you and to all the beings involved with um, sort of depending on you on your path along the way that there's more to it there's there's a lot of guides and um, spiritual beings behind you supporting you because to take the dharma seat in any community is an honor from one point of view but really those of us who take the seat as many of us know and, and those of you in places of leadership in your community, uh, whatever that leadership may be, you know it's more of a responsibility than it is an honor. And it's work, you know, that we have to continue to work with our own ongoing purification of our own hearts and minds and, and um, borrowing the wisdom of others sometimes when we don't feel we can reach it ourselves because life is hard. And, and, and things happen, you know, that are on, we just don't know what's around the corner and we have to face it, even if we don't have the wherewithal sometimes to do that. Um, I've experienced that responsibility as like uh, taking on the, the attitude of developing my heart to be bigger and bigger and, and be like, Kuan Yin, you know, opening to the cries of the world and listening um, and just taking it in. And I want to, I was thinking of what is my personal experience with you, Shelley, uh, along the way? And, and 
um, I agree with everything Mark said as far as all the paramis, you know, and and um, second second that very strongly. Well, one of the things I've seen in you that's so, so important is being a leader in the community is the ability to listen and to really take in the cries of the world, so to say, or how difficult it is and not take sides. You know, I've, I've really seen your equanimity and your compassion come in strong balance together. And when you've had to give an answer or some kind of response, it's not a Dharma sound bite. It, it comes, it comes deeply from your experience, from your heart. And when you don't know what to say, you say it, you know, I don't know what to say, but I'm with you. And, you know, that feeling that a person gets from being totally accepted and belonging is worth more than all the Dharma words in the world, you know, and you've got that ability um, you know, you've got all the cards. <laughs> I hope you realize that in times of, of difficulty. Um, it's your spacious capacity of the heart, you know, that I recognize the most. And sometimes we can reach in and know what to do and, and, and to say, and um, just a little of my own experiences, sometimes I don't know what to say or what to do. And I really have to depend on my senior colleagues and my my colleagues to say, help me, you know, and, and even the community that I'm in, you know, I just um, say it like it is. And I have hopefully continue to have that humility to not have to be the most perfect, you know, teacher and actually to show one's imperfection makes one feel more held by everyone you know so there's that strong and steady balance in you shelly that i trust so so much and um i feel like i can lean on you myself you know but i i won't do that <laughs> so much i i promise um anyway above all i trust in your faith in the Dharma. And when I know that we can't or you can't reach inside and kind of gather it up to put it out that you'll touch into that faith that you have in the Dharma and offer that. And that's unshakable. You know, that's um, really what I trust in you. So what I want to um, offer and say to the community is that sometimes a leader, you know, and oftentimes, most times, listens to the cries of the world, but sometimes a leader also needs to get their strengths mirrored back to them, you know, and, and to remind how much we have faith in, in the leader and the leadership. Um, because we can't hold it all sometimes. So what I like to call on is the strength of the community also in um, welcoming Shelley to this Dharma seat and also to continue to support Shelley uh, on her path. So that's what I, I have to say for now, but I'm with you a lot, Shelley. And with the whole community, as I have been almost these 30 years now, just <laughs> felt really close to you. Yeah, my father's homeland. <laughs> so it was my dedication for that. So I'd like to hand it over to Steve now. And he has some things to say. Uh, thank you all for uh, being here and inviting us to acknowledge the value of Shelley in our individual and communal life. And I'm just recalling and reflecting on how quietly Shelley has come into our life. And for me in particular, being a visiting teacher, not in the community, and how welcome 
I have been mm -hmm. and how generous Shelley is in her love and knowledge and um, appreciation of whatever she is receiving, whether it's Dharma mm -hmm. or praise or uh, challenging questions. And in the Dharma seat is necessary all the time. And uh, I have seen Shelley respond to challenges, personal, communal, Dharma-wise, and I have to appraise, appraise, and praise her capacity to connect with the way it is for each individual and herself and the Dharma. And that's not as we are acknowledging it, it's not easy. And it requires all of our compassion and uh, understanding her own wisdom. So I want to just acknowledge that to the wide world and to uh, affirm my appreciation, faith in Shelley, in her new, but let's just say expanding role of community leader. leader. So I have a couple of words that have been important to me that I want to share with you um, and to acknowledge the brightness of your love light and your wisdom. And this is advice from me, borrowed from the Grateful Dead. <laughs> For those of you who know, uh, let your light, your love light shine, Shelley. Let it shine, shine, shine. <laughs> and be all you're able to be to all of us. And manifesting your infinite qualities of compassion and wisdom. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen Kamala. And we'll hear from Kamala at the end, but I have Rebecca Bradshaw, one of the guiding teachers at IMS and a longtime mentor of Shelley. Do you want to go next, Rebecca? Sure. Yes. Hello, everybody. Um, my washing machine just went on high spin cycle. Can you hear it? <laughs> so I'll turn it off. No, it's okay. All right. Oh, I'm so glad to be here on this um, auspicious day. And everything the other teacher said just resonates um, deep in my heart, too. So I'm just really um, um, happy to be able to uh, be part of this blessing ceremony for uh, Shelly today. Um, when I became a guiding teacher at IMS, a number of people uh, congratulated me. And on a number of occasions, I would say, well, I think maybe condolences is more in order. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the reason why, and you can probably figure it out, um, uh, congratulations, because it's just a, a beautiful job and it's a recognition of your um, the depth of your dharma and the um, breadth of your heart. Uh, but, the, but the condolences, <laughs> it's a messy job. I think uh, Kamala kind of hinted at this. It's, uh, we humans are um, human. And uh, at times it gets uh, um, dicey and uh, challenging and um, that's part of the job too. I was thinking this morning as I was walking in the woods, it's, um, Last night here, we had a uh, ice and wind, uh, you know, kind of bitter, difficult weather. And then today the sun came out and everything's sparkling. And that's kind of like what the job is like. Some days it's going to sparkle and other days it's going to be windy. And, and um, yeah, so I offer you both congratulations and condolences on your new job. 
I really resonated what people said about your integrity. That's the word that I don't think we've used that word yet, but that's the word that kept coming um, back to me is your um, integrity and your um, sincerity uh, about your practice, about how you are in the world, your commitment to living your values. Um, and it's such a beautiful quality, integrity, because trust is at the at the heart of it, right? We can trust. Um, we feel like we can trust you. I always feel like I can trust you, Shelley. And that's um, a really beautiful gift, and it's really important in the community and as a leader in the community. So um, I think the what I'd like to encourage for you is, um, and we've talked about this, is to lead from your full power and not pulling back because your style might be different than, um, than Mark's. I remember when I was a new teacher at IMS, I always thought I was supposed to be Joseph Goldstein. And it took me a while <laughs> to realize I was supposed to be Rebecca Bradshaw. And um, well, yeah, what I wish for you is to be Shelly Graff and to, um, uh, yeah, really lead from what feels true to you and your style of presenting to the Dharma. And I think you and Mark are very complimentary. And uh, Mark, I'd say you, you did well in choosing your um, co-guiding teacher because you guys are a lovely balance and um, you're both needed. You both need it in your full expression. So sometimes I like to make uh, simple collages um, and they're just two parts to the collages. There's a figure in the, in the foreground and then there's a background. And um, I have a file of pictures and sometimes I, I go through and see what resonates for me. But other times I asked the Dakinis or the Devas to pick. And I just put my hand in the folder and, and pick out two, two pictures. And um, so the other day I decided to ask the Dakinis to make you a collage, Shelly. And um, they usually do a good job. Actually, they do an amazing job. And I think in this case they have two. So I'm gonna show the collage and I'll send it to you then, um, Shelly. Um, so if you don't like it, talk to the bikinis, not me. Um, so because the bikinis pick, I don't always have a full interpretation. Some of the clutches work on me over time. Um, so you, you can take this and work with it over time. But what we have here, can you guys kind of see it? I hope so, there you go. Um, this is what the Dakinis uh, chose for you. I think it's amazing. So we have this Buddha-like figure and um, they are holding all these people, all these beings, many different ages and races. We can assume different gender or uh, sexual orientations, gender identities, abilities, religions. And, and so I see this as just this was the first picture I picked was this um, figure and this is you holding your community. And then the background. So behind the, the, the being is this uh, moon or planet orb. It's got luminosity and um, it's very beautiful. And I, and I think of that as, as, your, as you being held. So behind you, and this is uh, other people, Kamala talked about this. So be, behind your um, holding the community, you are held. You are supported, you are blessed. And so this uh, orb behind you, which has a very feminine quality, I think. Um, it might be your wife, it might be a circle of friends or colleagues, pets, mentors, all the, the beings on this realm that support you. And then there's the beings in the other realms that Kamala mentioned, the bodhisattvas and deva, devas and 
tree spirits and earth spirits, and um, they can support you too. We have Kuan Yin back here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'll be sending that along and that's my blessing to you. And um, yeah, blessing to the whole community of Common Ground too. I don't, I haven't been involved quite as long as Kamala, but some of you know I grew up in Minneapolis, so I've been connected to Minneapolis since I was a baby and connected to the center for 15 years, maybe 20, 15, something like that. I really appreciate what you um, have done and what you're doing there. And I'm really glad, Shelly, that you're joining the team in this new capacity. You've been part of the team a long time. Wishing you many, many blessings, wishing all of us many, many blessings, and wishing that these blessings then spread out and um, bless this uh, beautiful and heartbreaking world. Thanks, Rebecca. What a beautiful supporting words for Shelley. So, Tara Ule is one of the recent graduates and has been teaching at IMS now for a couple of years. And uh, Tara, do you want to MC some of the videos or is Rachel going to do that? Um, I was on, I'm on the schedule to do that. So great. I'm not sure. Okay. Go for it, Tara. Okay. So um, I'm just going to say a few words and then introduce some videos from our um, fellow teacher graduates. Uh, my name is Tara Malay, and I am one of the 20, along with Shelley, of the 2017 through 2021 IMS IRC teacher training program. You will see many more of us in the videos that follow. And so together we navigated four years of teacher training. It was um, an intimate experience. And I know I speak for really all of the cohort when I say that we're grateful um, recipients of that opportunity to get to know Shelly and to be their Dharma friend for all those years. So I reached out to some of my cohort members and when I asked them for a few words that captured the qualities that they really admired about Shelly, some that they mentioned were clarity, creativity, wisdom, commitment to community, commitment to belonging, and an aliveness that was also matched with a certain quietude. But the most frequent quality of Shelley's that was mentioned was courage. And I want to add that I have so admired and learned from and grown by witnessing Shelley's courage in particular and persistently addressing through their Dharma sharings and all of their efforts, the systemic manifestations of greed, hatred, and delusion in our society and world. And this kind of courage is so needed right now that Shelley is really a Dharma teacher for these times. And I know that Shelley will hold and uplift this community with that courage. I know Shelley will hold and uplift this community with wisdom and will hold and uplift this community with love. And so these, you know, the responses of the cohort members and the videos that will follow really demonstrate that we know without a doubt that Shelley will be an invaluable guide, a true guide, bringing immeasurable benefit to this community. And therefore really to countless sentient beings beyond. And we know that they have been doing that and this is a continuation of that invaluable role. And the video show will be there to support them and cheer them on as they move forward in this challenging work. People have mentioned it's challenging of holding and uplifting this community with that courage and wisdom and love. So uh, the videos that follow, I want to name the, the folks who are in it so that everyone um, has a sense of who we're hearing from. So the first video is of teachers Rachel Lewis, Andrea Castillo, Jean Corrigal, Walt Opie, 
Nisha Patel, Josen Tamori Gibson, and Jessica Mori. The second video you'll see is of teachers Yang Oh and Don Scott. And the final video that you'll see is of teachers Devin Berry and Roxanne Doe. Just showering our love, just showering our love on this community, our congratulations to this community, and our love on Shelly today. Okay, so Gabe, take it away. Hey, Shelly, just so happy to hear the news. And I feel emanating Meta and Mudita in all directions. May you have many years of sharing your lovely teachings. I feel the same, just sending you tons of happiness for both you and for Common Ground. Everyone feeling so, so much happiness for all of the Sangha there, as well as you in this beautiful role. Shelly, I'm feeling so much joy, Mudita, for your students and your community, and um, hope to also continue to get the benefit of your wisdom and your teaching. You've been such an inspiration. Deep gratitude for your commitment to the path and your teaching. Shelly, I already thought you were actually. So I had to send out some emails just updating folks. And it was a beautiful thing to send out. It's a blessing for all of us. <sighs> Looking forward to receiving more of your teachings in this particular role. Thank you, dear one. Hi, Shelly. Oh my goodness. I'm not, not good at sound bites. Um, I love you. I'm cheering you on. I'm celebrating you. Um, and so much, this feels like an occasion of anumodana for common ground. Um, you have a gem in Shelly and uh, yeah. Thank you so much for this exquisite offering. When I think about the time that uh, we got to spend with you in the IMS IRC teacher training program, um, I just I feel so nourished when I think about your um, simplicity and integrity and deep devotion to the Dharma. And I feel um, so inspired that that gift that you bring to the world is, is being nourished in your home Sangha. Thank you for everything you offer. Yeah, Shelley, just congratulations. And uh, I think the big winner here is Common Ground and all the students, because I know you're going to be an amazing co-guiding teacher. And I'm just very happy for you and the whole community. And I have always really cherished your um, offerings and your friendship and i'm just so happy to hear this news hey shelly just want to um just want to send my my love and my like real delight and happiness that you're stepping into this role and you you have a really unique voice in our teaching community and you've been blessing us with it for a long time and you're just going to continue to do that i feel like um 
you bring a lot of authenticity and humor. And what I love about your humor is that it's, um, you're not trying to be funny. You're just being yourself and people relate to just the realness of what you say and they see themselves in it. And, um, there's a levity that you bring. And I also really love how, uh, you bring everyone with you when you teach Dhamma and when the Dhamma is rolling through you. Um, nobody's left out, like really big arms, big heart. So congratulations. Thank you for continuing to bless us. And um, yeah, may all the conditions come together to just support you in flourishing in this role. Hi, Shelley. Um, just really wanting to congratulate you and and um, just celebrate this uh, wonderful occasion. And so excited to hear that you'll be uh, taking on um, this role and and um, really will be benefiting, supporting the community at Common Ground. And um, I think it's generous of you as well to be willing to teach Mark a few things in that role. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I, I just love the way the Dharma is expressed through your heart. And, and um, I think it's such a gift for not only Common Ground, but uh, all of us. And I really look forward to um, for deepening our friendship and uh, getting opportunities to um, to continue to connect and and explore the Dharma together. So again, just best wishes and sending all my love. Thank you so much. Oh, we love you, Shelly. Congratulations. Congrats. Bye. <laughs> Bye, dear. <laughs>
very sweet to hear from Shelley's co cohort and hopefully they won't be strangers to the common ground community over the years. So next we're going to hear from some common ground leaders starting with Arlita Little who is our vice chair of the common ground board of directors and has led programs at the center. Um, Arlita, do you want to step forward? Thanks, Mark. Shelley, I'm so honored on behalf of the board to be able to contribute to this cornucopia of celebration of you and your many talents and the ways in which you have um, rooted yourself in the Dharma and the ways in which our community um, really benefits from the fruit uh, of your practice um, and the ways in which you have uh, committed yourself to leadership and to the opportunity to contribute to the growth and healing. Uh, and development of our community. Thank you for that. Um, in all your compassion and wisdom, uh, I celebrate um, two things. Your, as Bell Hooks would say, your engaged pedagogy, uh, the ways in which uh, you live, uh, what you are teaching, and how much that is a model for all of us. Uh, and then um, the second thing that, that I really want to lift up is your fierce commitment to equity and justice. Uh, and how necessary that is uh, for our ability to be with one another uh, in wholeness in these times um, and the opportunity to really celebrate that collectively and through your teachings. Um, thank you for that generous gift to us all. Uh, leadership takes a village uh, in the African tradition. Um, and I know just from what you are witnessing here uh, and uh, the network of support that you have uh, beyond this dimension uh, that you're bringing a village and that we'll all be activated uh, in, in connection to your leadership. And I celebrate that. Um, but we also just uh, see in you the extent to which our community has grown and developed uh, and, and celebrate um, the ways in which you will continue to catalyze uh, and take us forward into new visions for our future. So, so thank you for that. And uh, in all gratitude, Shelley, thank you for what you uh, are bringing and for the person that you are, your presence. Thanks, Herlita. So next, someone most of you know, Patrice Kalsch has been teaching at the center, it's gotta be more than 20 years, and our first board chair, Patrice. Hi. <clears throat> so I, I have been uh, regularly attending Shelley's um, Wednesday night practice group for quite a while. And um, also now, more recently, her Friday check-ins with, um, with students. And um, every other week, the check-in session is an investigation of uh, racism and whiteness. And what just strikes me over and over again is they make everyone in the room feel welcome. It is such an atmosphere of friendliness and belonging. And sometimes it's, it's playful while still completely fearlessly naming what is really hard to acknowledge and that is how white supremacy culture lives on in our lives. Even in our, our Dharma lives, it shows up. And Shelley offers the Dharma as an investigation of this moment, this body, this heart and mind. And they do it with just such great humility and great wisdom. And I feel that personally, I have just benefited so tremendously from Shelley's example of someone who truly lives the Dharma, who is so devoted to the Buddha's teachings and uh, really exemplifies them with so much courage and, um, and integrity. And it's this just remarkable 
combination of this just um, steadfastness and um, fierce in, in their own sort of gentle way, this just fierce courage and, um, and integrity and this just wonderful, wonderful inclusiveness. And um, Shelley's practice is so relational in so many ways. It has just been um, such a kind of North Star to me to, uh, to sit with Shelley and um, watch the Dharma be expressed through them. So I am very, very, very grateful personally and very grateful on behalf of, uh, of our community. So thank you so much, Shelley. Thank you, dear Dharma friend. Thanks, Patrice. And next it will be Meski Madatsian, who is a recent graduate of our, I guess maybe three years ago, of our Dharma Leadership Program and also board, one of the board of directors. Meski? Shelly Love, uh, you all gave me two minutes. I don't know what can I say in two minutes, so I'm gonna go over already, so just so you know. Uh, Today feels like uh, like an official wedding. You know, one of those couple that have been living together, had children, you know, like after like 25 years, they decided, oh, let's make it official. That's really how I think about this occasion, but I'm so glad that we are here um, together to celebrate Sherry Shelley in this moment. And I, I wasn't really sure, like I was so sure during the week on what I would say, but then today I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't know where to start. And the two minutes really threw me off. Um, but Arlita, I so agree with you. I feel <laughs> we, we not only have a leader that the times need, at common ground, but I personally feel, and I feel for especially in terms of um, equity and inclusion, <clears throat> we really truly have an ally that lives it. So that is something. For the most part, the Dharma is practiced, but not lived. So. I am grateful that Shelley in Common Ground in the Sangha is making today official, at least in that aspect that we would have a true ally that lives it. Um, so as I was reflecting, this is interesting. My grandmother's voice really came through. So I'm like, forget everything else. I'm just gonna talk what grandmother would have said to me. I'm gonna say this in my language and try to translate it all. My grandmother would say, when we give her, she lost her eyesight in her later years. And then if you give her water to wash her hands, she would say, So this words mean, you know, it's little and I've heard this words all the time. She would say, may your marriage be warm, warm. So the weight of those words, this, this, this is a marriage of the Dharma and you, the Dharma through you, a marriage is a union dedication, not just like a one day thing, but work day in and day out. And just having that warms day in and day out in that work, that is what I wish for you, even if it's so hard. The Buddha said, very difficult to teach the Dharma. If the Buddha said that, you, you, you don't really have to be challenged too much. Uh, so maybe that helps to unburden your heart, like if he also felt that. But this warms 
that's a blessing from my grandmother I want to pass to you. Just may this worms in this union marriage communion between you, the Dharma, the Sangha, may that unfold all the time. The second thing that my grandmother would have said or have been saying all the time is strength, endurance, and support to be at the right time, at the right place, at the right destination to get there. And that's just her wish all the time, having the right people to support you, you being there at the right time, you know, taking you the journey and having endurance all the way through. So that is my other blessing through me from my grandmother ancestors all over um, coming your way. I wish you um, support, inspiration in all of your minutes and moments and doubts and fierce moments and you know sadness and gratefulness and all of that just just know you are loved and you have all the support rooting for you i love you thank you meski next is gabe keller flores our office manager recent six time or six year board member and one of our Come Ground Dharma teachers, Gabe. Shelly. Yeah, just echoing, you know, so much of what everyone has said. I, I, I have so much confidence and gratitude in you stepping into this role. And, and I love you and I'll always be here for you. And you're not alone. You have all of us and you have the Dharma, you have the truth, you have compassion. And my hope is that this role, in addition to being such a generous gift, is also a cause for your, your heart continuing to open and blossom and for you to continue to taste the freedom that's available in this life in the midst of all the messiness. So we're here with you. We got your back no matter what. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gabe. And next, my dear friend and wonderful partner and lifelong Dharma inspiration and also Common Ground's co-founder, Wynne Fricky was also on the board for nine years. It's been Dharma teaching, including along with Shelley, one of the three residential retreat teachers at the center. And Wynne has a few words to share. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, Shelley, first of all, just to say how much I really resonate with what people have offered so far. And you've been a Dharma friend for a, a long time. and. Um, I've come to know and love your natural warmth and your empathy and your um, your beautiful ability to accept people as they are, to really take interest in them. And I feel I've been myself a beneficiary of that. Um, and I see always a humility and a suppleness, which I think is so important and allowing of deep learning. Um, but I have to say what I, I most appreciate is what other people have echoed, a kind of unqualified devotion to the Dhamma and this understanding that it's really the only place to stand. And I think that that wisdom It gives you an uncommon courage uh, and it lets you face what is formidable. And I've seen that again and again, and it, it moves me with just the power of that courage. Um, and your choice to become a Kokai teacher, the choice to take the Dhamma seat, I imagine is stepping into all kinds of fires <laughs> and, you know, uh, exposure 
and humiliation that you learn to sit honorably through. <clears throat> so I'm going to borrow some wisdom from Dante Alighieri and uh, <clears throat> his writings about the divine, the divine comedy, and um, which he wrote in the early 1300s. Dante wasn't Buddhist, but his metaphors were beautifully. Um, so Dante, on his way to paradise, he needs to journey through various circles of hell, each which has its own distinct character. And he has a wise guide, Virgil the poet, and um, at the gates to these various rings of hell, um, uh, Virgil instructs Dante that at these gates, um, this is the place where all cowardice has to die. Uh, and in Virgil's words, uh, kill all cowardice. <clears throat> um, and the most striking um, one of these inner infernos is the one that's right in the center, right in the belly of hell. And this one is so deep <clears throat> that it has frozen over and we're rendered immobile in this particular hell. And this is a hell for liars. Um, the deepest hell is for liars. And uh, this is where we need to learn to take our stand in reality and where we need to go beyond all forms of self-betrayal and see through the hell of self-blame and through the hell of self-doubt. So I celebrate, shall we? Um, your continued success as a teacher, this very steep path of purification. And I see how you are supported by your goodness. And Common Ground is fortunate to have someone uh, so humble and so powerful and who's willing to kill all cowardice so you are utterly trustworthy as a guiding teacher and I offer you my heartfelt wishes. And now it's my job to read all the well wishes from community members, um, which I'll recover <laughs> and will do. And you can just put them in the chat box and we'll take five minutes to do this and, and I'll read them and uh, and yeah, I just feel to write. I probably won't get all of them, but I will get as many as I can. So, um, so community, please feel free just to offer any thoughts, any well wishes, words of support for Shelley. This is, uh, <clears throat> Wishing you so much rich, richness and felt love in this new role. In my short time with Common Ground, I've already felt gratitude for, grateful for your offered wisdom and spirit. Thank you, Shelley, for being an inspiration. I'm so glad you're here. I've only joined the community recently and feel so grateful to be able to benefit from your beautiful spirit and teachings. Thank you, Shelley, for sharing with us your beautiful, wise heart. Thank you in Chamoru and best wishes for a long future. Relational, inclusive, perfect words for Shelley's practice and leadership. I'm so grateful for the love and wisdom that consistently shines from Shelley's heart. And I'll say who says it, I should have done that. That's from Yvonne. Iris, major congratulations, Shelley. Deep, deep gratitude. From Susan Delatra, so much gratitude for your being with us. This is from Mary, Mary Allison. Thank you, Shelley, for offering your many gifts to us. I feel so privileged to have you as a teacher. Zenzale, Shelley, your services to this community is a blessing. May you find peace and happiness in this role. You are such an important in my, you're so important in my own journey in big ways. 
but mostly small and beautiful ways that are unforgettable gratitude. Nancy Boros, the community is so blessed to have such a warrior for social justice and equity to keep us moving outward with inclusion, congratulations, with gratitude. Blessings, I am humbled by your courage and kindness from Mira Frank. From Sean G, thanks for your kind teaching from your heart. From Eva Schuster, Shelley, at this noble juncture in your life, I meet you as you meet yourself and all of us, your elders and your young ones. I wish you the insight and love to encounter everything that will be coming at you. And I feel blessed to be right here with you and onward. From Becca Gilgan. I'm grateful to have found a path that includes you. May we all walk together, benefiting from the teachings learned and from the teachings shared. Deep love from Mimi, Oni, and me. From Richard Condon, Shelley, so much gratitude for your practice. From Paula Holden, I'm feeling so blessed and grateful for the community and for Shelley's leadership. From Robin, Shelley, you already have an amazing heart filled with loving kindness, no matter what. May we all be so blessed. From Philip Cryan, a deep bow of respect and gratitude to you, Shelley, in choosing to share your integrity and kindness and commitment and wisdom with all of us. Thank you. From Mary Gazowski, thank you, Shelley. We are blessed by your open heart and kind wisdom. A silver lining of COVID has been our Friday Dharma session, a joyful day for all beings. Peace, Mary. Thank you, Shelley, for sharing your heart and being a guiding teacher and friendly words in community. This is from Kyoko. Dharma, kin, teacher, friend. How lucky we are to benefit from your dedicated practice, commitment to equity and justice, and your quiet yet fierce ways of your integrity. May many blessings to you and to the community. This is from Ayo. Deep gratitude and guiltless self and couple care for the long run. <laughs> and Louise, Shelley taught me how I could something for the first time without confidence, but acknowledging that and jumping in. She did this as she started as office manager doing her first Dharma talk and taking on new roles. She shows us humility and courage. Shelley, you are both, this is from Shannon. Shelley, you are both steadfast and vulnerable in your life and exploration of the Dhamma. I am and remain so thankful for you. And we got your back in this and all things. From Charlie Burge, Shelley, I'm grateful to have benefited from your wisdom over the years. I look forward to continuing to benefit from your kind, courageous, and deeply honest and sincere presence for years to come. May you always meet with spiritual success. And finally, Mary Maltese, deep gratitude for your generosity and gentle leadership, wishing you great joy in this new role. Mm. So Shelley, now we get to hear from you. Wow, it's hard enough to walk in the footsteps of the Buddha, but now to follow all of you. <laughs> Loving words and kindness. I'm going to just uh, start off right away by thanking my, my beautiful wife and partner. Yeah, for all the support over so long. Not only is it... Um, such a remarkable good fortune to have met someone who cares deeply about the Dharma and is willing to partner in a life that is rooted in Dharma, but then someone who's willing to live through the frustrations of having a partner who's off so often doing Dharma things and um, not available all of the time. But Stacy, you've been there by my side with such grace and love and support, I um, could hardly say thank you enough.
And just to continue with the thank yous, I just feel so, um, yeah, it's so these moments are like that feel about oneself. You know, it's so easy in a sea of warmth and kindness and dharma that to feel just the given, the giving and receiving of it all. And so to to see, you know, uh, practice that is reflected in with my teachers and their wisdom and their offerings, I just have to thank you so much, Mark, for being there with me from the beginning, being my first teacher on common ground, shepherding common ground and helping me find a spiritual home here and nurturing the very sometimes hard to see seeds of practice for so long. And then just the good fortune to have met Stephen Kamala right away and have this annual retreat with them as teachers to deepen practice in and feel the support and encouragement to keep going has been such a deep blessing. And Rebecca, yeah, you have just shown up for me in such remarkable ways over these past four years. I have learned so much about what a teacher, how a teacher shows up for students just by your modeling. And to all the common ground teachers and leaders who have offered something, I just uh, am doing this with you and I never wanna forget that. And the Buddha was right about spiritual friendship, everybody. It is one of the deepest blessings of this life. So to my cohort, these 20 remarkable teachers and uh, friends, there is nothing like it, just walking in the, with the Dharma under our feet in friendship with each other. So go get it, friends. Find your Dharma friends, keep nurturing those relationships. And uh, it's really a beautiful thing. Yeah, so I I just want to make a commitment to you, you know, that all of what you've said to me, I'll, I'll do my best to live up to, but sometimes you'll be disappointed and you'll want something more than I have to give to you. And I'll probably want some things that you don't have to give to me. But I promise to keep um, searching for the seeds of belonging and connection and, and staying rooted in practice and Dhamma all along the way. I promise. Yeah, I'm committed to not quitting you. And I hope you'll learn ways to, to stay engaged and keep talking to me as, as we journey together. And this is the, the beautiful gift that, you know, our, from the Buddha and his students, you know, on down through our Asian siblings have honored practice in this way orally, just by talking to each other and sharing what they're learning with one another. So just to find ourselves in this lineage of wonderful, wise, uncertain, imperfect humans who have dared to keep seeking and keeping the practice alive orally in the way that we do day in and day out, weekly at programs and just appreciating this lineage that we're all a part of. I don't know what else to say here <laughs> other than thanks. And um, yeah, I'm all in. <laughs> so we're getting close to wrapping up. Really grateful that people have been here. And uh, we were thinking about um, Shelley and I answering some questions about how things will change. And the short answer is yes, they'll change. And uh, I think I, for one, you know, we're really, all of us as a community are really interested in how this community and how Shelley and how the Dharma will change with Shelley in this new role. And that remains to be seen. But if you have questions, you can always reach out to Shelley or to me you know, about how are you guys going to do this? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Shelly, you want to share your specific long-term vision with us all? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we start by renovating the office, <laughs> <laughs> which is sort of what I've done while Mark's been away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, you know, how all things change is an important question. And perhaps in, in many ways, it won't feel like change is happening because, you know, Mark and I have been collaborating and working together for so long. We've been meeting, I mean, many people don't know this, but we meet faithfully every week and have been doing that for many years. So uh, we have a lot of opportunity to talk and share with each other to uh, our vision of for common ground and our practice, our individual practice and what we're learning and how we hope to be a, a shepherd and a support to each other and to this community. And so, you know, common ground will keep being common ground. And of course, and I'll do my best to, to bring my voice and to stand in full uh, integrity as I walk alongside of Mark and, and um, honoring all the ways that we're growing and practice together. And that includes taking care of Prairie Farm and taking care of the city center and taking care of our Zoom community. Our community has expanded in this pandemic to include people from all over the world. So that will all be a part of things. And just, you know, I, you, you know this already, but I, I care deeply about a fully integrated awakening that includes what's moving and what we're experiencing in the collective, what we, how the Dharma meets our psychological wounds and always keeping the deepest freedom, keeping Nibbana in mind. So feeling like you know, Mark and I both are committed to being fearless in our, in our exploration of the questions that will help us continue to you know, feel the fruits of practice. So yes, things will change and no, nothing is changing. <laughs> How's that? Sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Should we turn it back to Kamala to leave us with a beautiful closing blessing? Anything else, Shelley, before we pass it to Kamala? I don't think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to um, start with a little bit of metta practice to prepare us so that we give our best blessings. So let's uh, take a few moments to still the body and the mind and allow our awareness to touch into our heart center. Breathing in and out from that physical place where you sense your heart, maybe around your physical heart Breathing in and out from there. <clears throat> and I'd like to start with bringing to mind and heart some of our spiritual teachers, our ancestral teachers ancestors of our own family to be with us, bringing their memory, their goodness, their guidance, their wisdom here to assist each one of us. Feeling their presence, possibly remembering particular ones of our teachers our guides, our ancestors around us. And connecting with them as we bring our attention and incline our hearts to our own goodness, our own intention for goodwill within ourselves. So having a sense of our intention to offer goodwill. To 
to bring forth our most mm, purified mind and heart, a place where there's this unconditional friendliness with ourselves and others, connecting with that. And if it's not directly with that, connecting with our intention to open to that place within us. What would our teachers see within us if we can't see them, those qualities in ourselves? What would our ancestors, our grandparents see, recognize the potential within each one of us to know our own goodness and strength? And offering ourselves this unconditional goodwill as a way of connecting that place within us, offering that to ourselves. May I be safe and protected from all harm. It's remembering the essence of that, not necessarily the words, but the intention. May I be safe and protected from all harm. May I know what's beneficial, what leads to harmony. May I carry that forth in my life. Whatever is beneficial, whatever leads to harmony. May we feel the protection of our spiritual guides and the ancestors of our families to guide us. May wisdom and love always protect and guide us. Now remembering some of our ancestors and friends and spiritual guides and offering that goodwill to them or a particular one so that we practice this offering, this unconditional offering of goodwill from deep within our hearts Remembering those who have given us their wisdom, their compassion, and offering to them our unconditional blessing of goodwill. Wherever you are, may you always be safe and protected from all harm. May you be connected with goodness and mercy within your own hearts. And wherever you are, share that with others. Now expanding our circle of friends to include all of our loved ones, our benefactors, our spiritual guides, seeing our heart expand, feeling the spaciousness that can include more beings, beings we know closely, and maybe some we don't know so closely, but we consider them as our friends and offering to this wider circle. May you all be safe in every way. 
from inner and har inner harm and outer harm. May love and wisdom always be your guides. May your most noble aspirations be fulfilled. Find your own words, your own way of feeling that sense of goodwill emanating from your heart center and offering out, even if there's no words, but simply that offering of unconditional goodwill to all these beings. And now offering that in particular to our good, dear friend, sister, guide, noble being, Shelley. Seeing Shelley in the center of all that with the community all around Shelley. All of Shelley's loved ones, Stacy, all the dear family around both of them, all those who support Shelley directly and indirectly. And I call forth all of our own guides, all of Shelley's guides all of the celestial beings that hang around all of us, helping us along the way, being seen and unseen. May we all offer Shelley and the whole community our most authentic blessing from within our hearts. You can use your own words, your own language, or without words to make this offering your sincere, authentic offering to Shelley and the whole community of common ground, reaching out to all friends and family of each member of that community. May you always be safe, protected, inwardly and outwardly, in some way, guided by your most noble aspirations to be a good human being. Remembering equity inclusion all the time, accepting all into our hearts with equality. May all beings in this group of noble friends and family and spiritual guides. May you always be close to the Dharma, however that is expressed in your own heart. May you share that with one another in ways that support each one, the community, and also support Shelley. May all of our blessings upon Shelley be remembered and accessible so that in times of hardship, Shelley will connect to that and know how much we support and care for you, Shelley. Well, let's take a few moments of silence so that in our own way, we can offer our blessings silently. 
to the whole community and to Shelley in particular. So we offer these blessings for the benefit of all beings. And we share the merit of this offering with all beings everywhere. And by the sharing of this merit, may it be so. Okay. Thank you so much, Kamala. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate your transmission of metta. Feels so real, <laughs> even though you're way across the Pacific Ocean. So thank you, everybody, for coming. Feel free, if you'd like, uh, just to unmute yourselves and verbally, or you can, any sound you want to make, <laughs> send your love to Shelley and good wishes and and to the whole community, and especially to Rebecca and Steve and Kamala for being here. Much gratitude, and Rachel and Tara and all the other visitors who just came to support Shelley today. Take care, everybody. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, Shelly. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. Congratulations. Congratulations. Shelly. Bye, Shelly. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for being here. Love you. Love you. Love you all. Love you. 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 Love